It's time for the first episode of Mojo Breaks Blitz, and we're going to cover NFL Week 1 stars, rookies, who to buy, who to sell, in our opinion. And it was a tough one. It was a tough Week 1, a lot of sloppiness. I'm chalking it up as preseason game four. We're ready for the first week of the NFL season this week. Yeah. We had so we had very few rookie performers. You know, The 2022 class, I was hoping to see Damian Pierce do well. I was hoping to see Brees Hall do well. But we have Dotson, Dotson from the Washington. Commanders, I think, is leading the pack. Cody, did we see anybody else from the rookie class do anything from the rookie class? Not really. I think if you look well, on that's the de- a good sign. Yeah, I think if <laughs> we're doing great. If you look at the on the defensive side, couldn't the have defensive drawn it up any better. Week ones, but like if you, in terms of like offensive players, uh, you're not. You're you not, didn't see much. No, because yeah. yeah. uh, I know Trevon Walker. He got his he got his first interception. Um, Who does he play for? Jacksonville Jaguars, number mm-hmm. one pick. Um, so he got oh, yeah. an interception. His first first game which is nice for, for him um other than that yeah like yeah. offensive there's nobody like nobody right. maybe the only good news is that like uh Tannehill didn't look amazing so maybe Malik Willis will there's a chance there's maybe an upside we there a, we get a we get a mid-season Malik Willis uh Rit- Ritter maybe I mean the yeah. Falcons lost uh, Olave yeah. didn't really do much I think for the Saints uh no Mariota had a good game for the Falcons yeah. they didn't win he but did. he had a good game yeah yeah, Kyle Pitts didn't have a good game. I'll tell you that. No, he didn't. But uh, I think we should focus on maybe some of the the star players. Yeah, I was just getting the uh, yeah. 2022 rookie class out Not of the way. Great to start the season, but there's six, but it's early. But we said at the beginning of the show, it's uh, it's week one. It's weird, especially if you're a rookie or young kid. First, uh, welcome to the NFL, kid, and um, you know it's gonna happen. And it's playing fine. a monsoon, it's tough. It's tough to win games. And playing in a monsoon. It really wasn't that bad. Tornado. The weather was, yeah, was it, it was it was bad, but it, the game plan should have reflected what the weather was going to be. It's not the weather. the weather came out of nowhere. It did. It's supposed <laughs> to be sunny. Actually, you know what's funny is there's actually a forty percent chance of rain in Santa Clara on Sunday. This is nice. This is our yeah. curse. Um, I, I would say one last thing about on the twenty twenty rookie class. It's like when you don't have those quarterbacks l- you're to look at in week one. It's like. You know, the twenty twenty two rookie class, yeah. Yeah, it just it, you're really not gonna be looking for much if, if we don't have a quarterback to talk about. It it might we've said it before, the the what if factor might be the best thing for the card market. It might be the best thing if none of these quarterbacks play. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, exactly. I mean you're not gonna see six figure rookie autos coming out of products. But you're also not going to see the products tank because people will buy the pickets and and you know, Trubisky Ritter didn't look great. And, like they will buy them one, with the I will hold to see what does happen. Yeah. Um, one of the worst things that can happen right now is like one of these quarterbacks or a couple of these quarterbacks come out and look really bad. Yeah. To yep. add to add on to like none of the rookies really performing that well and then if the rookie the rookie quarterbacks start playing and they look bad and they get benched it's gonna be a long year for the football category i mean but you know to be fair 2021 rookies didn't look well good either nobody nobody got wins except for i mean i don't i can't say fields looked great obviously wilson didn't play but you know you got you know mac jones had a horrible quarterback rating uh you had uh lawrence got the loss after lawrence you know, looked okay though statistically lawrence did fine and uh, i feel I, like of all of those guys i feel like he's the one who kind of came out the yeah, best yeah i watched Fields that game got he, the win, he, so he, he was wrong. pretty he, he looked pretty good <laughs> that's good yeah. burrow yeah. burrow had four interceptions yeah. uh put up one, yeah. throw through through for a lot of yards yeah um but four interceptions you you not going to win a lot of games in the NFL throwing yeah. four interceptions. Who stood out? Like what? Is there an individual player that stood out for each of you guys from Week One that maybe were underrating in the hobby, or you know, a guy that just kind of just jumped off the page for you? I feel like there's an obvious answer here after Monday night's game. <laughs> well, that queued up one of you guys. I'm going to try to think of somebody different. Uh, Javante Williams had a good mm. had a good game. Okay, um, he looked he looked decent. Uh, I mean, Jerry Judy had a long touchdown. I was going to say, Jerry yeah. Judy looked really fast. Jerry Judy had a long, long I, touchdown. I, I feel like all that talk of like, oh, Sutton's the number one there. I feel like it's Judy kind of took the ball and quite literally took the ball and ran with it. Uh, it you know, it, it, some drops it, really, it really seemed like both teams were were lying heavily on their tight ends. It seemed yeah. like every time they went yeah. back to pass, like especially Seattle, like they had like, a, I think uh, Parkinson had a touchdown. Uh, dis, like, Disley, is, Will Disley. Will Disley had a yeah. touchdown. Yeah. 
Um, I yeah, I mean, DK Metcalf, I don't think had a really great game. Uh, Tyler Lockett, I don't think had a great game. Mm-hmm. Rashad Penny didn't have a great game. You know who did though? Geno Smith. Geno yeah. Smith. You can get that wax for a good price. <laughs> you, that can't I, you, be a I mean, I mean, every, everybody right. has to be crazy right now. If you if you really do think Geno Smith is going to carry that team to the division title, you're out of your mind. They didn't even score in the second half. This is. Look, I mean, granted, he looked he looked good, but this was week one. Yeah, I mean yeah. they they come into they come into San Francisco, Santa Clara, <laughs> Bay Area. <laughs> And they beat the Niners at home. So. That that's gonna. I mean, now pack, we're talking. Pack, I'll it, take next week pack off. it up. You better. I will get, not be here next you week. You better just shake off that number ten Jimmy G Jimmy Jimmy Garoppolo jersey and put it on. Oof. You guys, you guys want to play a little guess that price right off the bat? Right, a little uh, impromptu guess that price. Let's I just do it. looked up. Well, it's not sold, but someone's asking. What's what do you think someone's asking for a 2013 Geno Smith Topps Chrome Gold Refractor Rookie BGS 9.5? Right auto now. or non-auto? Non-auto. This is going to be five thousand dollars. No, not that. Not that crazy. Oh, two well, thousand. Uh, no. Any guess? You read eight hundred? A thousand? Four hundred fifty dollars? Buy it. <laughs> that's a buy. That's a buy. All right. It's number to ten. Number to fifty. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Or buy maybe, it. Yeah. Buy it. All right. Gold. Real it's gold. Right there. B- buy it now. Four fifty. Jeez. And, Co- and Cody just bought it. I just bought it now. That is. A, <laughs> that, I, 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 it. It, it won't be there by no, the time we actually air this segment. No. That's pretty mm. wild. I, I don't know. Like four fifty for a guy who hadn't gotten a Not start one in week. the NFL for how many years now? Not one. Yeah. Week. I mean, it, obviously, I, you could double your money if he beats the Niners next that's week. That's true. But you want to talk about dusting something off? That guy was like. Let me go find my Gino. Is it graded up on eBay? Yeah, VGS nine point five. It's graded. Yeah, yep. VGS. I mean, great. That is a great story. Gino Smith it getting is. his start after all. That again tells you what so people were, uh, what they were grading modern cards back in two thousand thirteen. Yeah, VGS. You know, yeah. I will I'll say um, we were talking about uh, Burrow earlier. One of my week one stars. Um, so obviously Burrow had a had a terrible first game. You know who didn't on the Bengals, and he actually was the reason they got so close. Freaking Jamar Chase. Yeah. Every time they needed a play, like he was besides overtime, obviously, but like every time they needed a big play, Jamar Chase was right there. Jamar getting, getting open, like dude, like he, like he was continuing his rookie campaign. You know, and and off topic a little bit, but fantasy drafts actually panned out for the first round because Jonathan Taylor had 160 yards. Yep. Uh, Jamar Jefferson had a big game. Jamar Chase was a first rounder. Derrick Henry game. didn't have a big game. Uh, I guess Eckler did Eckler. Mm, nope. No. Nope. Okay. Henry not, not, not everybody, but D. Henry nope. did not have a good. D. And, Henry and, didn't. And, and, and Cooper, again, Cooper, Cooper Cup had a good. Had a good and way. again, I I was I meant to pick Jamar Chase in our fantasy league that our company one, and then I I didn't know how to select them, and then the timer was coming down, and I guess I, I just it went to Derrick Henry. Excuses, rip. <laughs> I think there was somebody else hey, who I was still running the rock I'm... for Tennessee that had more fantasy points than nice. Derrick Henry. Hilliard, the guy that I drafted in the very last round. Yeah, I was like, I you know, didn't, like, I haven't heard of this guy. Dude, and I was telling you, the only reason I drafted him because he's he's Derrick Henry's backup. But for some reason, he was playing freaking tight end in the game Jeez. when he's a running back. You know who looked good, too, and I haven't even looked at his card prices. He had an incredible catch, uh, Deontay Johnson. Oh, yeah. He had a catch that looked like the Jordan logo. He literally caught it, and it was a bad throw by Trubisky. I I, I keep waiting, and a, a guy, a, a, he's got on the, the slide here, but Justin Jefferson, and I keep waiting for it. Like, Jamar and Justin Jefferson can't keep doing this, right? But No, they can. They are, yeah. I mean, they. I think by the end of the year, if this keeps happening, they have LSU. to be. LSU. I mean, well, it's, uh, again, we've talked about it. We said Devontae and Cooper Cup, whatever, interchangeable 1A, 1B, whatever you want to say. But then after that, if they keep this up, I feel like Jamar and Justin Jefferson have to be at least the third and fourth. No, I'm, I'm, I'm already saying after number one. Justin Jefferson's number one in the league. Uh, did you hear Aaron Rodgers after the game? He said that's the best player in the NFL. Yeah, see, and I Which agree with Which kind of feels like a dig at Devontae Adams, not going to lie, but interesting. Well, I, but I don't know why Green Bay had single coverage. We can't base everything on off a of one week. No, but he's but that's this is now a two years in a game 
track record for Justin Jefferson. And see, didn't I say last week that Kirk Cousins was underrated? I think me and you said oh, that. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, I mean, look what happened. He come yeah. out there and he's making plays. And, and, and he is underrated because he has the best receiver in the league on his team. So I I don't know that Vikings got might a, win that got division. A, got a good running back. Got the actually probably have the best one-two punch as far as running backs in the league. But yep. Madison and Cook. Cook as long as they can stay healthy. Yeah. So. I mean, but if yeah. if Cook goes out, Madison basically comes right in, and they really don't miss a beat. Like yeah. I yeah. think he I think he is the best backup running back in the league. I I also have a couple of uh, more mentions for Week One stars. Um, actually, and they were from the same freaking game. I think both these teams are going to be oh, really, really, really Bosa good. Enjoy both and Cleo Mack. Just just they suck. <laughs> <laughs> um, one, Jalen Hurts, Eagles yeah. are going to be really yeah. good. Yeah. But Matt Stafford, I'm not Matt Stafford. Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions are going to be a yeah, good team yeah, this year. Yeah. I, I, somebody Jared mentioned Goff. I, I, I dude, talked about, I talked about really them last good. week. I was I was on the really Dan. Good, I'm on the Dan. <laughs> well, I don't, yeah, I don't know. No, I, mean, I think you I guys mean, are if, underrating the Lions. I, I think if the Lions can come out and be competitive week in and week out, I think that's a victory. I think that's a good year. It's going in the right direction. Did Aiden Hutchinson do anything? Did anybody know? No, no nothing huge. Really but dude, game. neither did I. If if you watch that Eagles and Lions game, saw the highlights. Obviously, the Eagles look really good this year. Devontae, but the fa- Devontae but, Smith didn't. But the fact no. that the Lions kept up with them and it made it a close game, I think the Lions are gonna are, are a very underrated team. They're gonna be, they're gonna beat a lot of good teams. This I year. like I like the Jalen Hurts pick. Uh, I was really skeptical. I didn't really know what to make of him, especially in, uh, in, in where he lands in that hierarchy of the twenty twenty QBs. But having AJ Brown there made a lot. Yeah, of AJ difference. Brown had a huge game. Well, I, I got the stat right here. Is he had thirteen targets, 10, 10 receptions. No other receiver on that team got more than four targets. So like he and, likes AJ and, and, Brown and Devonte Smith had four targets he yeah had, he, four had targets. Four, he had four That's targets it. he had four targets you know yeah. you know how many receptions he had zero zero None. so i mean now and let's turn this back into cards we've been talking about receivers more than yep. anything yeah right so we're i mean there's a lot of opportunities for investments i know receivers may have a short a uh, time but i mean you got jamar you got justin jefferson you've got the deontay johnson you've got uh, aj brown who's from the 19 rookie class i mean there's a lot of receivers that showed up this week Devontae AJ adams aj brown is like really i was looking up some of his cards pretty cheap right now silver prism psa 10 uh last sold i think for 269 dollars wow for A.J. Brown, and I think he's going to be – like, clearly Jalen Hurts likes him, and he's going to be a big target. Jefferson's different. His stuff's like – I think I saw on on, on Sunday, uh, National Treasure, uh, PSA – what is it? Is that a PSA 10? Yeah, PSA – no, PSA 7? Yeah, that's not that great. Uh, it did sell for $2,500 uh, for our true RPA of Justin Jefferson. So who are well, who are you guys buying? I'll start with Cody. If you, if you could buy one guy now, who are you buying? And I'm just talking about receivers. I'm kind of sold on Jefferson. I mean, he's the price is a little I'm buying, high. I'm buying like Jamar. I'm buying Jamar Chase. Yeah. Uh, because if 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 you look at that, I mean, Burrow's gonna be throwing the ball a lot. That offensive line was supposed to be a lot better. Didn't it? Doesn't look like it got a lot better. Again, week one. Uh, but Chase is probably gonna lead the NFL in receptions. Part of me wants to go with Devontae Adams, but I just feel like the hobby is like it's 2014 and then just everybody was not even born to be collecting by then. <laughs> and so, you know, part of me wants to collect him because uh, I like Devontae Adams. I liked him on the Packers. And, uh, he, you know, he had, what, uh, 10 or 11 receptions this weekend with, with uh, the Derek Carr connection. And he's going he's gonna to get a lot more. He's going to get a lot more, you yeah. know. Um, but, yeah, J- Jefferson, uh, I just love the guy's swag. He – He's bringing a lot of attention to the receiver position. You know, he's got the the gritty he does. I mean, he's flashy. He dresses up like gritty. No, he does the the the, the, the gritty <laughs> dance or whatever. You know, the, very the, confusing. Viking the LSU receiver dance. dresses the as gritty dance, like flyers. not not mascot. not gritty. The Flyers mascot. No, no, no it's like, like the okay. So the, I thought I thought gritty had a dance. It went G-R- viral. G R I D D Y is the dance. G R I T T Y is gritty. Gritty the, the the gritty the uh, yeah, the scariest right. mascot in all the land. Correct. Uh, I'm gonna go with the same as Dan because what I saw was Burrow struggling and Jamar. Lifting that entire offense up by himself. Yeah. That yeah, that offense is going to go through him. Yeah, like if they need a play, they're probably going to go to one person. I feel like the price is a factor here. Uh, if we're just if we're saying which one would I buy, like I feel like 
any of these maybe pre-2020 guys, Devontae, we mentioned A.J. Brown, like the guys, these guys are going to perform as at as high level as these other guys, but I kind of am a little worried that there is going to be this like dividing line of like post-2020 wide receivers yep. of Jefferson, Jamar, even if they put up, even if A.J. Brown and, uh, uh, and Devontae Smith and Cooper Cup put up the same stats or better than these guys, that Jefferson and Chase the and newness, now yeah. these new guys are going to be priced higher just because well, it's Jefferson a and era. Chase yeah. like you could buy right now and you got three to four years where they could potentially be the best at their position in the league yeah and three to four years it, yeah I, I mean is Devonte are uh, Devonte and Cooper Cup going yeah, to yeah exactly guys? like yeah, true I mean they may be serviceable receivers but their prime at that point in four years would probably be behind them. You just saw it with Julio Jones a few years ago. Like the guy was literally for a ten year stretch historically one of the best receivers in football and like he's a complete non factor now. Yeah. Ooh, did you watch I know, I did know, you watch I know. the Bucks game? The stat line the stat line didn't show up. Number, give me a few more weeks. Number one on that team. Give me a few more weeks. Number one number I mean Well now Godwin's it, hurt, but nobody Evans. I mean he looked great. He looked healthy. Um it's a lot different having Tom Brady throw you the ball it's than having true. Ryan Tannehill throw you the ball. It's true. It's I mean Antonio Brown looked good until you know he decided to take his jersey off. So, so. I, Julio Jones, I but I, he he is twenty eleven. He's eleven year. Receiver. I I think he is going to have an absolute resurgence. Uh, he he looks like he's gonna be really All good right. on that. All team. right, fine. AJ Green. That, okay. That that I don't. Is better. he in the league? He's with the Cardinals. The Cardinals. Still. Yeah. We're also forgetting about Waddle. I mean, I know there's there's three guys over there: Tyreek Waddle, and I think Jarvis Landry's still over there too. So he's got two. Has got three. Did Jarvis Landry go back to Miami? No. No. Is Jarvis Landry not in Miami? New Am Orleans. I wrong? New Orleans. Yes. Yeah. Never mind, because I saw the stats, and I thought he was on the Dolphins still. So, okay, so Waddle is a second to Tyreek, but he got a lot of targets. He looked he good with Tua. Dolphins looked really good. Yeah, um, which I think that kind of leads me to who I like in week two is Tua. I really like I, – Tua is a guy that uh, – seeing what he did last week, it just – is a guy I've always thought he just needs the right guys around him. He needs the yeah. right coaching staff. He's got the right coach. He's got the right weapons there. Uh, I think they're going against who they got this week. Uh, the Ravens, who have the, last year had the worst pass defense in all of football. They just lost their starting key, uh, corner, Kyle Fuller, for the season. I feel like that's like a, a perfect mix of a big breakout week. And like compared to the other 2020 QBs, uh, I think his silver rookie prism, PSA 10 auto, last sold for about $1,600. Compare wow. that to like Burrow and Herbert. Cheap, like that yeah. is cheap compared who, to who those is guys. the uh Who is the biggest injury story this uh, this week? Ooh. Oh, who, uh, for me, hey. Elijah Mitchell. Well, okay, yeah, no, TJ no <laughs> Watt. I don't even think, think Dak. I don't even think it's Dak. Dak. It's Dak, right? It's Dak. It's Dak, Dak because Watt's a big one, though. It's but it's Dak when you see, yeah. like, I mean, the Cowboys again before the season. It's like win now, franchise. Like they're this, they're gonna do it. They're the Cowboys have talent around them. Do you know what? A, a, a I, terrible offensive line. I really feel bad for the Cowboy fans because when I go on Facebook, it's like my my feed is l- littered or Twitter with just. Cowboy hating memes like haven't been to the playoffs since '93, and Uncle Rico's their new quarterback, and the Lions have had more playoff experience than uh, you know. It's like there's so much hate. It for is the going to be too. tough to win games with Cooper Rush as your quarterback. Yeah, yeah. it will uh, be. Better, better get Jimmy Garoppolo over there pretty soon. Might want to <laughs> sell your CD lambs right now. <laughs> the way things are going. Uh, yeah, I mean, Garoppolo, cards. Garoppolo, uh, he waves his no trade clause and. I mean, do the Niner fans have the strength to have, like, every single week Trey Lance loses? <laughs> You're going to have – I mean, a- actually, you don't have to wait until the game's over. Trey Lance doesn't score a touchdown on his first play. Or throws a pick in the first quarter. It is basically like you go on Twitter or you go on, like, Sky's Facebook falling. or something, and it's like, why, why do we have this guy? Why do we have this guy? You got to you got to trade Jimmy Garoppolo. You got to. Yeah. You ha- you got to you ha- need to trade him. But if Dak's only going to be out four games like Jerry Jones said, okay, yeah, he has a broken hand. Uh, well, thumb, Jerry but, Jerry's saying he's only going to miss four games. Eight, I think eight games. Eight I, games? I, I'm just telling what the owners Eight say. games? Four four games? Cam Newton's available. Cam Newton's available. Cam if Newton's you're available. if you're the Cowboys, it you I mean, I I go Garoppolo over Cam Newton. Yeah, at this point, Cam's had a few chances to show he can put it together again, and just hasn't. So, who, el- who else? Who else do you go with? Who else is out there? 
I mean, you go like knock and see if Sean Mannion wants to come over. Ooh. Danu- ben Dinucci, come oh, on down. Yeah. You're back on the team. Uh, man, I don't. The yeah. Nooch. Is he? He's got to be the practice. Who's the Raiders? I don't even up. know if he's on there. I have no idea, actually. Uh, Tyler know. Wilson. <laughs> oh, no. They got Nick Mullins, didn't they? Or did they trade Nick Mullins? They, they let him go. Oh, God, they right. let Nick Mullins go? Yeah. Uh, he's your new Cowboy quarterback. Josh Rosen. No. No. no, I'm saying that's who should be. Oh, I'm like <laughs> Josh Rosen. Oh, well, that would be his 17th team. Yeah. <laughs> <Does> he, <laughs> did he play a game as a non-cardinal yet? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. That guy's. I feel like guy's got worse luck than. No, Brady yeah, he Clinton. played. He played at Miami. Yeah. Uh, he he, oh, he absolutely played at Miami. Uh, who do you guys like? Any picks to click in week two? Any any players you thinking of? Anyone that maybe you should invest in going into week two? Oh, I'm gonna say Derek Carr. Going to go throw for 500 yards this week. <laughs> I, I don't on, think on, it's on a that, bad choice. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to stay on that receiver. Um, Rashad Bateman had a long touchdown. I liked him. I'm going to go Rashad Bateman. I was going to say, I think, I think you can do a quick flip. I think his stuff is cheap. I was gonna say I like I like the you said that they're, they're playing Dolphins. I like I actually like Ravens in that game. Yeah, over the Dolphins. Oh, okay. I, I like Dotson from the – I think that people are sleeping on the 2022. They're not even ready for the 2022 rookie class. I think Wentz really connected with Dotson. And I, I think the commanders are a lot better than people are making them out to be. Wentz. To be. I also Wentz think is, it's week one. Yeah, I think there's a lot of te- – there's was, a lot of teams that won that, that may be their f- only win for a long time. Whose I'll, division I'll, is that? It's well, not the Cowboys. Yeah, it's not the Cowboys. Or Is it the Giants? It's the, yeah. It's only it's the Eagles are the only one that showed promise, and then you have the Commanders. I, I was gonna say Wentz. I, I do like Wentz, but like we we know what type of like he he will find a way to shoot himself in the foot. He won a Super Bowl. Wentz's cards. I was looking it up. I mean, at least some of the high end stuff still su- sells for like a surprisingly high amount. Yeah, yeah. My, still, I don't. I don't. I just Wentz don't trust. The last Wentz. time Carson Wentz played a full season. Oh, last year. What? How many games? Oh, I don't think so. No, he 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 was out. Okay, he, I can't remember how many games he, he played was. He was game. out. I think they might have Jacob Eason in there at one point. That's yeah, they probably did. He got all of his injuries out of the way. He's ready to go. Play a full season. Yeah, go to the playoffs. Yeah, I uh, feel like better at hand some the ball point, off. Sam Howell is going to take times. his job, dude. <laughs> the the quarterback rookie over there in Washington. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I like I like two running backs I'll mention. One, because he's on my fantasy team, uh, and he's part of my bolts. Uh, Austin Eckler, who should have a way better week in week two. Uh, that might be a good quick flip, uh, because also I think against the Chiefs, he has the most yards from scrimmage against uh, the Chiefs that more than any other team in all of football, uh, and they had the second worst uh, rushing defense last year. Well, Chiefs, oh, they, 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 they play each other twice they a year. They do play each other twice. So, Chiefs. You know, Chiefs defense has improved this year, though. It has improved. We're going to see it next it tomorrow has night. It has improved. But I, I think I, I love to see them beat game. each other up. That's my favorite. And I think uh, Christian McCaffrey's due for a bounce. How are we going to watch that happen. game tomorrow? We all we all have to watch it on Prime Video. Yeah, Prime right? Video. I mean, I have it. Prime. I have it. It's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, I have it. I'm not happy about it. I don't like change. Get used to it. Next year, it's going to be Prime Video for Thursday night. You're going to have to get Apple TV for your Sunday okay. ticket. Okay, well, you don't know that. Yeah, it's Apple gonna, TV, that gonna happen, probably. Yeah. Well, I have Apple TV. Yeah, yeah. everybody does. Except for Dan. I mean, you're going to have to pay a fee on top of having Apple oh, TV. Oh, okay. so. you're going to have to get Apple TV, Dan? Yeah. Do they have Android yeah. TV? Is that <laughs> a thing? I mean, they, Android sells TVs, <laughs> like physical televisions. But hey, those Apple are the ones with are. VHS attached to it. A- Apple TV if it makes dope. you feel better, you could get you watch Apple TV on your Android TV. It makes you feel any better. I have a little icon to buy Apple TV. I'm trying to figure out how to delete it, but Severance, <laughs> Severance best it's, show, best show. I told on you, TV at some point it's going to be un- un- unavoidable to have an Apple product in your house. Yeah, yep. at some point. No, I I have one. My wife has an iPhone. Yeah, yeah. it's in the house. Sick. She joined the right side of she the. May, I'm the like, tracks. I'm all put that outside. <laughs> <laughs> Park it outside when you come in. Yeah. Leave it in your car. <laughs> well, check back next week for the next Mojo Break Blitz where we have more picks and uh, we have maybe we're actually past the preseason.